Hi everybody, it's Michelle Diaz from Arts Garage again, and I'm here with Andy Holland, who submitted to our Delray Stories. It, we're trying to start an annual event, and each year will be a different theme. This year is honoring the seniors of Delray Beach. So we reached out to the community and asked for submissions of personal stories, and Andy was one of the submissions that we chose, and we have been working with a playwright um, Mark Scharf, who is also presenting his play Winter, that uh, that event on the third, and um, and we we kind of made it into a series of monologues uh, interwoven into a play, and Andy's story caught our interest because um, he has a very interesting background and has a lot of things going on in his life now that make him even more interesting. <laughs> so Andy, tell us a little bit about your story and, and the submission that, that, you, that you turned in to us. Well, first of all, about Mark, Mark's new play, Winter. Yes. Um, I was lucky enough to act out his last play here yes, Andy, at the Arts Garage. Andy was an actor in the reading of the Monroe. the Monroe Doctrine, which was also written by Mark Scharf. And it was a great play. Yes. So I think that even besides the monologues about the personal stories, I think coming to see his new play would be yeah. a great idea. But um, you, you basically asked me to write about how I felt about getting older. Mm -hmm. And I never thought about getting older until you did that. <laughs> uh, but I, um, I played professional basketball for a while. I played a year against the Harlem Globetrotters. I was a studio musician in New York. I played with a lot of real musical icons in my musical career. I played with Chuck Berry for a while. I played with Bo Diddley. I did, I'm on recordings with Pete Seeger, um, John Prine, a lot of really uh, big people in the industry. It was a great life to go through. I have a million stories, most of which I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, um, but I do magic now for a living because um, I came down with multiple sclerosis uh, about 35 years ago, and after a while I couldn't fit and feel the strings on the guitar anymore, but I wanted to stay in the entertainment business, and my father always did magic when I was a kid, so I basically just decided to move into doing magic for a living. So I do magic for a living now, and um, still work in a lot of places. I've worked in Vegas. Um, I do the Breakers in the Four Seasons, on occasion, and I do private parties and things like that, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's better than uh, it's better than having a nine to five, <laughs> um, and I don't feel like I'm really old, and I feel like I'm I'm out there still having fun, and so um, I th I think the idea of writing uh, a story about getting old without really feeling old <laughs> was a good thing to write about. Yeah, and so what do you? What are your thoughts about the project in general, and coming to see someone else perform your story? Well, actually, mm -hmm. the gentleman that's going to perform my story mm -hmm. is somebody that I did the Monroe Doctrine with, and 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 I like his work, so I'm I kind of feel good about him reading my story. Um, I would like to see what his interpretation of my words are because mm -hmm. I know how I would say it, but I don't know how somebody else would say it. So I think it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. But I think doing local theater like that on a small extent and getting people's thoughts and feelings in the area, even other things like the homeless and, mm -hmm. and other projects that I think would be worth exploring, is a great idea for Delray. Yeah. and for the Arts Garage, because I think this is a great place um, to learn. Mm. I think some of the entertainment that comes in here is the best in the world, and you're sitting 25 feet from, you know, great mm -hmm. performers. But I think it's also in a spot where people can come and learn 
Mm. And I, I think it's a great thing to do. Great. Well, we appreciate you participating, and we hope you come out and, and see Andy's work on December 3rd. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Michelle.